This is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands, and we are here to play bingo again. Yay! Um, first of all, I want to say sorry because I wanted to play bingo on Friday, but I was sick for about two, three days. I'm still not doing very great. Uh, and yesterday I thought, well, maybe I can do bingo today. <laughs> but I had a big struggle with uploading my video for the A to Z collaboration challenge. Sorry for the challenge. Um... Yeah, in short, I had a video and I want to edit pieces together on high speed with some music underneath. And so making it a video for approximately 45 minutes. And I don't know why, but every time I try to edit pieces of my video, I only manage to edit one piece. And every time I try to edit pieces, my screen went white and my laptop, well, it looked like it died <laughs> um, and it happened for one and a half hours straight every time I tried and by that time it was already eight o'clock in the evening and I still had to edit and well I even made a new video I thought okay I'm going to show you the end result and I'm going to show you with just white papers how I made it I have filmed it but you could hear um, in my voice I was I was really sad. I'm, at the end, I was almost crying in a video. I was thinking, okay, this is not good. This is not rep representing the kit. This is not showcasing it in the best way. Um, let's try and try another um, app. I, I had to buy another one uh, to make the video and that didn't work so I came back to my old editor and then finally I was able to edit everything I had but I couldn't speed up I don't know why I still don't know why the only thing I know is I was able to have all the footage together I lost a tiny bit but it ended up in a video of one and a half hour long and that wasn't the plan at all to do Oh, sorry, I'm dropping something. Oh, this is actually the white <laughs> the white folder I made. This is the one I made in the video, in the cry video. But yeah, we are here now um, playing bingo. But, um, oh, I was telling, yeah. So I ended up editing everything and I was uploading it until midnight. <laughs> Two o'clock two o'clock at night and then I thought okay now it's too long I'm going to bed I will see tomorrow and then I woke up instead of eight <laughs> ten o'clock <laughs> I slept in and I thought okay I'm going to add all the chapters chapters so you can skip because one and a half hour who's going to watch um I know for sure people aren't watching the whole video maybe some of you but most most of you don't which I don't blame you because it's extremely long but yeah, it ended up not playing bingo. So, um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm so late. Then I have another thing. Oh, I forgot. I have checked all the bingo cards. I didn't forget, but I wanted to print something so you could see. I made a schedule um, with all the number drawing in the order that the numbers were drawn. And I printed out all your bingo cards, and some of them didn't post it in the call out. So I went over the whole group finding the, 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 the cards with bingo. And I even have two people that missed numbers, and I will tell you in a post. I think it was Carol, Carol Bernier. She even missed three numbers. Not that it were the numbers that gave her bingo, those she had. But on her card I saw other numbers. Let me check. I'm going to tell you. Because then you know. Um, Okie dokie. Where are you? Uh, Carol Benier missed O67, B15 and N33. So if you cross those off from your um, bingo card you can still play along for the next bingo 
And also, I think it was Suzanne who missed one. Okay, I'm not sure. I will I will post it in the groups. There was another person who missed one number. But you can still play bingo with these cards. You can play for the second round. And the second round is two. Oh, I have to glue this again. Two lines like this or one like this, one like this, this one and this one. doesn't matter as long as it's two lines. So you can play along with those cards even though you already have bingo. But the one a person, oh, it was a lorry. Lori, you missed this one. This one wasn't crossed off. And 071 is here. So, yeah. But the person who won, haha, <laughs> we have one person that won, and that was um, Tabitha. Most of you won with B11. But Tabitha won two numbers up, well, one number before the B11, I21. So Tabitha, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the, the name, your name the right way, but I'm going to send you these. These two will be shipped to you. So please send me your address and I will send them to you by mail. I'm not sure if I'm going to send you this week because I'm waiting uh, for the second prize and maybe the first prize so I can ship out everything in one um, order. Otherwise I have to take three, four trips to the post office. But Tabitha, you won this. So congratulations, Tabitha. I'm going to put it together so I know it's you. Um, so yeah, we have a winner. Okay, let's play. No, not let's play. Let's play with the papers first. Sorry for the very long introduction. But yeah, I was so frustrated about the video of the collaboration. I had so many different things in mind. Uh, and also I started very late. Usually I'm rather fast making the video. Even though I don't have a clue. I just put on the camera and, and start filming and see whatever it brings me um oh and this is this is the folio i made by the way with all the flaps and we are going to do something with this too i think yeah this is uh, these the papers are fun really fun um and i have to be honest at first i had something like oh whoa this is a very large kit how in the world am i going to find the images that i like um but i went over it a few times and I wrote down uh, because they are in sections it's each leather has a section and a few files under the section so I went over all the letters and I wrote down uh, the numbers of the pages that I liked and so I was able to come to well something to print but they have also have the prompts and they have um, papers for each each letter and I had flips and folds and they had images that had the flips and the folds so if you are trying to make something with flips and folds you just follow the papers in the kit and you will be able to make something I didn't use those papers not because I didn't want to use them but I like the other ones so very much I wanted to include them and like I said this is actually the folio that we made um, this is the closure. This is the flippy thing. It's glued together, I think, now. No, not. And this is one of the flips, and this is the paper pad. And the only one that I put didn't put in was this one, but it was the same as this one. And also the booklet in here. Uh, no, the booklet in here. Um, and I also had the flippy thing over here. And in here I tucked in uh, a belly band. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, if you have energy to watch the whole video, you can see how I made it. Okay, um, the tags. I have three tags on my ring and I do like flipping them over. Um, yeah, this was the very interactive tag I made. And this was, well, actually, now I see this. This, this is the exact same thing I did in the flip. <laughs> I didn't think about that yesterday when I was making it. 
and a pocket in here but this is absolutely one of my favorites and I have to say I really like this paper even though I made it myself um, and I am and, and you're probably thinking okay of course you like it I usually don't say that about my own papers liking it very much I, I use them and I appreciate them but this one is really one that I'm thinking this this is really cute so yeah that's this and let's make another tag um, and create well I'm going to create one I think well let's see how it goes if I go very fast maybe two but I'm not very fast um, yeah, I wanted to... Oh, and I saw beautiful tags, by the way, in the group. And I saw somebody used the bingo card, uh, make tags, and you have four tags with the letters. The, the B, the I, and the, the G, the O. A lot of fun. I saw people incorporate the numbers um, that you receive on how to play bingo. They cut out these numbers on the tags. Also, brilliant idea. I didn't thought of that. Um, so yeah. Oh, I have no. I have a paper bin, but I, it's not next to the desk. Desk. One moment. Okay, let's start with something like this. Maybe this. What else are we? Oh, I like this one too. No, don't use this one. What else do we have? I don't know. I have a lot. Oh, I also like this one. Okay. I'm just picking a few things. Um, and I have my labels and I have the other cut out things. And I have, what do I have in here? I have a lot of stuff floating on my desk. Um, oh yeah, I have, yeah. I have wax seal stamps, so let's see what we can make. Um, grab my scissors. These are my favorite scissors. We don't need those now. Okay, let's start. Um, I all back these. The, these two are backed with a more sturdier paper. This one not so much. Because I initially only cut out uh, things from the freebie kit. Because I thought people were going to use that. Um, the most. Mm, I... I like this a lot. Also thinking about making my own tag, but I want to make a huge one. Um, okay, I'm not going to use this as a base. I'm going to turn this into a tag. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, it was a, uh, it was very stressful yesterday, and um, I also have a confession to make. I am not a fan of Christmas crafts. I don't know why. I try to be a fan. I try my best to make the best of it. Um, so it's a challenge for me. But yeah, I, I really don't like Christmas that much. Um, and I'm trying to get better at it. Um, I even did December dailies and um, yeah, but I'm not I'm not yet there yet. But I, I'm starting to appreciate it more and more. 
we are just going to glue this side and um, I don't know what I'm going to do I'm not going to, to think too much I want this on I really like those um, newspaper prints I really love them this on I can glue on whatever I want and I'm not trying to overthink too much um, because I'm not very good thinking too much about what I'm going to do I usually have zero plans when it comes to crafting to be honest I just do stuff need some inking. So here you have it. A taggy. I'm also gluing over this one here just for fun. This over here too. going to take this side of the tag, snip off this corner, flip it over to the other side. So I have exactly the same um, corners, the same angle. It's a little bit of glue. I already like this one. Oh, where's my ink? I feel it's not very sturdy. Maybe when the glue dries, it will be more sturdy. But because now. The papers are sort of wet because of the glue. I don't know, I hope. I said I was going to layer, but I think it's a waste to layer over this. I'm going to do something completely different. Of course, why stick to sort of a plan if you can do totally different things? So, I'm 
over here. And this over here. So, I just smacked on some cheesecloth and so, and I want to add butterflies and other things that I can find I'm not having I didn't cut out all the butterflies that were in the kit because I have these already cut out I thought maybe to use those and these are well these are in my Etsy too and if you bought one of these sets and you printed it once it will last forever but you can reprint, of course. And some of you don't know. Um, I received a few questions about people saying, I have purchased this kit and printed it once. Do I have to buy it again to print it the second time? No, you don't. You can print it as many times as you want. As long as you don't start to sell it yourself as an uh, item that you created. Or as an item that I created, but you are reselling it. Print it. That's not not allowed and you are also not allowed to take pieces of it into another digital or printed version telling it's yours that's the only thing that's not allowed all the other things you can do reprint uh, print a smaller size also allowed it has something to do with the settings on your printer um, you can print two pages on uh, one paper allowed. So you don't have to buy this kit a second time or a third time. I remember that when I um, used to make journals, only make journals before I designed my own kits, I purchased a kit, I think it was an Alice in Wonderland kit. I think I made 12 journals with that kit because every time I listed one on a local um, marketplace people were sending me messages because of that one that ad if I could make them an Alice in Wonderland journal too um, and I made different journals also with the Stamperia pages also, but I do know that Alice in Wonderland for a while I was thinking, oh no, not an Alice in Wonderland journal again. I really wanted to do something different. Okay, I didn't end up using this one, and I think it's the first one I took out of the box. So, one way or the other, it's going to be on. And I'm just folding it like so, but I'm going to glue it on like so on this area mostly. 
So the wings are sort of 3D. Swedish. That's not a word. Now I can add glue over here and I'm not sure if you can see, but it's not completely completely flat. I did glue on put glue on the wing and I'm not going to glue it down. I'm going to hang let it hang over. So this now <laughs> I'm having a hard time picking these up. This is a very tiny 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 butterfly. Look, he's so tiny, but he's cute. Um, I also want to add... Okay, I have a question, by the way. I have these. And I have no idea how these work. Do you? I think I can put them in with my eyelet setter, I guess. That would make sense. Or do I smack them with a... Oh, this is sort of a... Oh no, this is an eyelid. And there are also sort of wings. Yeah. I do like them. I don't know how to put them in. I really have no clue. Maybe like this? I think I should try it. I have a paper. This should I okay drop it on the floor. I'll find it later, I hope. And let's see. I don't think it does anything making a hole. Do not This isn't working. I don't even know. Maybe I don't need to make a hole. I just poke these in. Maybe there's somebody <laughs> who can explain to me how this works. Because I do not have a clue at all. And I don't think... Oh, it does work. Ah! Okay, I didn't mess up the... But it does look... Okay, we're going to put this on the... On the tag. Let's, let's do it. If it's not working, it's not working. It's okay. I didn't need... I really need to poke holes, but I'm going to let me just grab one of my punches for a moment. Sorry, I was interrupted by my husband. Okay, these are not. This is not working. Why not? Let me put in the eyelet. I'm making a mess. It 
they do not work or I don't know how they work that's, that's also an option I think it's me so I'm just going to can I take these out? no I can't <laughs> okay well um Please tell me what I did wrong. Probably everything. But I want to know if somebody knows how to actually use these. Um, and I have to clean them up, otherwise I'm afraid Mrs. Supervisor is going to step into it. Or me. That's also painful. Okay, well we have some things going on over here yeah um, let's see what I'm going to do I have to fix fix this problem oh, I thought I could tear it but I can't to cut it so yeah i think we're only going to do one tag today um otherwise i have another very extreme long video and one is enough for one day yeah This is really huge. What a mistake to make it. Okay, uh, let's see if I can do something to cover this up. Because I really don't like it. You know what? I'm going to cover this side of the tag. I absolutely don't like it. Okay, not sure the paper is long enough. I hope it is. Must be because I used it already. But... And this, this is I wanted to talk Dutch to you. This is a good thing I messed up. Um, because now I can show you that it's not, it's okay. It's just crafting with paper, it's, it's your making, and if you think it's good, it's good. And if you don't like it, well, you probably are wrong, because it's something you made. But you can always add stuff to it to correct the things that you don't like. Or, that happened to me a lot when I just started out, I just throw it in a bin. I, I just tossed it away. I was thinking, okay, this is not working. Bye bye. That's also an option. Okay, now we have this. Um, I want to put a little bit of glue over here so you will not see the the enormous hole I punched. The only downside is you're also covering up the the bread that you put in, but yeah. Okay. It will work. Um, put in something 
has a tag topo thingy. Do I put it into the wing? Oh, I have to ink the back side, I forgot. Might as well ink these parts too. So, where's the wing? I think I have it here, but I do want to put something on top. So, and now that my video is up for the A to Z Christmas challenge, I can finally present my own Christmas kit. I could have done it before, I know, but I didn't want to, um, well, it's a lot to take in for all the members and people that are following you on YouTube. And, um, but I've been working on two kits. I had... Uh, one of them already ready ready I had one already done before this event started and then the event came and then I thought okay I'm going to because actually we were going to play bingo with a Christmas kit I had everything ready then the event came because for me it was last minute which is okay um, but the event came and so I changed everything because I thought well we can't do um, a launch of I can't do a launch of the one Christmas kit I have to um, display and showcase and also having my own and I have two actually I have a red one and it's collage pages it's very cute and I had the base pages already done but I needed to do the, the, the tags and everything I thought well I'm going to wait because I'm not going to upload those yet and the design team members are going to start half this month working with the kit I have one is blue toned and one is red toned and I also have something with Alice in Wonderland an updated version of a previous kit that was already in my shop but I took it out because uh, I updated it I changed the colors I made it more pretty and I added things it's not done yet but yeah this is my tag for today uh, and I have to say I do like it so I'm going to clean my desk and let's play bingo. So here we are with the numbers. I don't know why I'm doing this because it doesn't matter. But uh, the third drawing we are going to play. Oh, don't forget two rows from left to right, top to bottom, or uh, crisscross. And you need two and this, uh, the second round, the second prize, are these envelopes. I showed them before. I'm going to show you them again. Um, paper bags and envelopes. And they are all handmade by me. I think I have a tutorial video on how I made these paper bags. Yeah, I, th I think I did. And this is my absolute favorite. I made this one with the We Are Memory Keepers punch. And that was a gift from my son. And this is just scrapbook paper with items. This is actually from a kit. And but everything else. Oh, this is also from a kit. But this is embossed paper and some music paper. Yeah. And this we made um, with the um, um, correspondence challenge. I had this paper in three columns with the cards in it. And I used these. These are from uh, BB Crafts. 
and they go very well with the actual butterflies on the image. So this is the, the second prize for round number two. And the first number, okay, everything drops down. And the first number, no, not again. So the first number, 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 the first number is G58, G58. So, and how many numbers am I going to draw? 15? Yeah. Second is G45. No, not 45. 54. Sorry. I'm turning it around. Because we, you say 54, and in the Netherlands we say... Um, we first name this number, and then this we say 54. So that's why I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Third number. I-23. I-23. And about um, finding out who won the actual first round. I checked everybody's bingo card and I um, from the the last number I, I I draw drew drew I went up and a lot had B11 I think as bingo and then I looked if there was somebody above so the higher up from bottom to top you were the, you had bingo the first if that makes any sense. And I will put the schedule in the Facebook group so you can see and check. And if there's anything wrong, let me know because I'm human and I can make mistakes too. But it took me an hour to figure out all the cards. The next number is N43. And we have B2. I'm going to lay them here and then I'm going to put them on because it's taking a lot of time every time I'm doing this. I-25. I-25. And 38. And 38. I-22. Okay, now I'm going to place them on the board. no ink oh now there is b2 i25 it's over here and 38 and 38 and 38 i22 i22 so okay and the next number is b8 O sixty two and thirty two I seventeen going to write them down B eight O sixty two and thirty two I seventeen B eight O sixty two and 32 and I 17 that's in between these so. and I think we have three more numbers to go and then we have 50 numbers today oh 70 oh 60 Four. And the last and final number today is N33. So we have O70, O64, N33. 
to modify this one. Oh, sixty-four and thirty-three. It's over here. So, yeah, I'm going to recall all the numbers. G58, G54, I23, N43, B2, I25, N38, I22, B8, O62, N32, I17, 17, I17, sorry, O70, O64, N33. So these are the numbers for today. This is my tag, and you can still, if you missed bingo, you can still enter for the tag challenge and post your tag, your makings. Each post uh, using the hashtag LDA Wonder Bingo will count for one entry if you use the freebies in the spinning wheel for the giveaway. And if you use the kit, the Autumn Wonders kit, each entry um will count as two so your name i uh, know each post will count as two entries i'm saying it the wrong way so your name will be in the drawing two times and what does it mean the drawing i have a name wheel picker and i put all the names in i check and i have one of the admins help me check all the cards which take a very long time i can tell you then we put all the names well i put all the names in the picking wheel name picking wheel and i'm going to spin and the first spin is for the first prize you can win three digitals from my shop the second spin is um the second prize for two digitals and the third spin is the third prize for one digital if you already won something in the first spin for the first prize i will take out your name so you can't win the first second and a third prize you can only win one time with bingo it's different if you like tabata she won the first round but she can play for the second round and for the completely full bingo card for the final prize the edith holden dutch version so don't toss your bingo cards away keep playing <laughs> i think somebody stopped i think carol Bernier stopped crossing off the numbers because you thought oh i have bingo i can't play anymore with this card that's not true you can play with all the cards throughout all the time we are playing bingo so this is it for today thank you very much for watching um yeah like subscribe leave a comment if you know how to use these tell me um and i hope to see you next time stay safe stay creative greetings from the netherlands bye 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 mm -hmm.